Welcome to Motion Story Recaps. Today I will show you a mystery story. Titled The Grimkati 2022. The story opens with a young child who is terrified of a monster that visits him at home. The child dashes to the kitchen to grab a knife. While his mother searches the internet, he appears to be very afraid of this strange-looking creature. She is reading various articles that discuss the negative effects of social media and the bizarre online challenges to which teenagers are susceptible. The young child frightens his mother by bringing the knife out of the kitchen and holding it in front of her. She warns him against harming himself in the same way he previously did. She appeals, and then he stabs her. The scene transitions to the movie's main plot, which follows Asha Chowdhury's story. Who is taking a video for her YouTube channel that features ASMR. The ASMR contains soothing and calming sounds of various objects being crushed. When she exits her room, Her father, Amir, motions for her to leave her phone at home with them. She reluctantly complies. They attend a jazz concert where Cameron, her younger brother, plays trumpet. He discusses screen time and attention span issues with a parent couple along with his wife Leah. In light of the fact that teenagers are self-harming, Amir first learns about a strange online challenge involving the Grimkati monster, which we have already seen. Asha enters the room to talk to her friend who brings up Cassidy Johnston, a popular student at their school. She left a, wow, comment on one of Ash's posts, which this friend interprets as ironic. When Amir approaches her to speak with her, their conversation is cut short. He makes the mention of taking her phone out of pure concern for her having a typical childhood. Amir checks Ash's social media accounts at home, where there are casual references to mental health conditions. Additionally, He discovers some alarming information about Grimkati. He calls Asha and Cameron to discuss it and tells them not to get involved. She reads about Grimkati on social media when she gets back to her room, and later that night, she actually encounters him. Her parent is immediately startled into calling the police when she starts screaming. She insists on seeing it in person despite the police saying it was just an online challenge. The parents take their electronic devices to be placed in a detox box. As a result of this incident, Asha finds it annoying, but Cameron cheerfully complies like a good boy. Later, she visits his room to retrieve the personal laptop he'd been keeping secret from his parents. From there, she is able to get in touch with her friends, who then tell their parents about the monster and hear about its Grimkati talk. After retrieving her phone from the detox box, she exits her room and leaves the house to speak with these friends. She tries to run away from them as the parents search the area for her. Grimkati prevents the bathroom door from closing as she enters and begins slashing her with a knife. Amir rushes over and destroys it as soon as she starts screaming. We then realize that Asha had been self-harming. Amir and Leah believe she skipped school the following day as a result of this terrifying incident. The next day, she goes to school while denying having done so. To help students feel more at ease when they arrive at school, the school invites a stand-up comedian. Cassidy and Asha emerge during his performance and begin discussing the absurdity of the restrictions placed on them. They attend a rich kids' party where everyone makes fun of the attendees' fear of Grimkati. However, Asha is visited by the monster while looking for it in this house, and she ends up hurting him. In the meantime, Amir notices that Asha isn't at school, searches for her and eventually arrives at the rich kid's house with Leah. Thankfully, he finds Asha before the incident that caused her harm could get out of hand. Asha learns about Melinda from Cassidy as she browses the internet in that home. She is the same mother that we first see when the child was cut. The latter refers to online difficulties and includes a link to an article about Grimkati. The article, however, is no longer viewable on the website. Both teenagers believe it to be brainwashing because Melinda and other local parents share exact information about the detox box and screen time with everyone in the community. She also talks to Cameron about it before hurting herself, and he uses their home internet on his laptop. When Amir realizes Cameron is using their internet, he goes back home. Grimkati emerges from the outside and strangles the child just as he is about to alarm him. When they arrive at the hospital, Asha runs into Cassidy once more, and they talk about Grimkati. They decide to find a way to stop the monster after taking into account that their parents' panicking would only strengthen it. 
Then Asha goes to Melinda's house to talk about it. But Melinda withholds any information. She enters her home undetected and discovers her son locked in his room. The mother threatens to shoot her when she attempts to speak with him by pointing a gun at her head. To see if Asha is home. Leah visits Melinda's house. Leah leads her daughter outside to her car as she listens to her daughter describe what Melinda did to her. Even though she feels bad for Asha, she gets out of the car and goes back to Leah's house to confront her about her child, who is in danger. According to Asha, Leah enters her home despite her refusal to let her. She continues to take Melinda's child to the hospital even as Melinda holds a gun to her head. Asha learns about Cassidy's suicide attempt while she is in the hospital, and she finds it challenging to hold on. Leah tells Amir that although their children are not hallucinating, they as parents must grasp the situation more clearly and manage their anxiety. She administers an injection so he can use it to stop the monster from growing any further. Amir's overbearing behavior towards the child, which is related to their exposure to the topic of Grimkati on the internet, persists though. The monster returns to haunt Asha while also hurting Cameron. Asha stabs Amir as he continues to express his worries. The monster that is lifting her in the air catches her as she runs outside and strangles her. Amir observes her becoming irritated and realizes that Asha's struggle is also being motivated by the same irritability. He administers the shot Leah gave him to himself. The movie concludes with an ASMR recording made by Asha in which she goes into great detail about her father's recovery from her stabbing and the significance of parents not fully comprehending their children's lives. She says that Grimkati probably won't return until there is another parent like Melinda who tries to discipline their kids. The end. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you've subscribed and turn on the notification for more updates.